we are in Tampa, Florida. You know, going uh, to warmer ends of the United States for once. I'm going to sound dumb. And we're spinning. I'm going to be sounding dumb because I'm sick and my tooth hurts. So I won't be doing too much talking, more like driving. But yeah, this, you know, my vents aren't the most efficient. So uh, she's covered her side. And the thing about classic is like the vents are so far away from me. Let's see. But yeah, we got here Monday morning. And then we rented a car and we stayed here whole Monday, rest of the day. Went on the beach and kind of looked around, drove around. And then today is Tuesday afternoon, the 22nd. And uh, we just loaded up and we're heading back slowly to Memphis. I mean, I already knew the load would be really, really bad coming out of Florida. But the only reason I went down here is because I got a light load and it was paid really good. And then I took a pretty bad load back up to Memphis, but it's only 8,000 pounds, so I'm willing to deal with it. As far as that goes. Plus you get some nice weather for a change and go away from 80 and 76 to New York, New Jersey, PA. Nice to see some palm trees. Let's see which way it's sending me. I'll take the slower route because the slower route that's the way I came here so I know I'm not gonna get stuck somewhere Get on four and then basically 75 all the way up to Atlanta and then go west towards Memphis on 20. We got a two day transit to deliver this load, which is Thursday morning. Today is Tuesday, so we're gonna drive probably three, four hundred miles today and then the rest tomorrow. We're hauling empty new cans for some drinks, not beer. How's the game going?
Florida has like the longest stoplights ever. I have to point that out. Oh, he should have went. It's a nice Lexus. A lot of people in my comments ask if I know AK Trucker. I did not know AK Trucker. I mean, I know who he is. I've watched his videos and I'm sure he watched some of mine, but I believe he's from Florida. I don't know which side of Florida, maybe Jacksonville. But uh, yeah, he's also Bosnian and also drives a classic. So we have quite a bit in common, but I do not personally know him. This channel kind of blew up. He made his like after mine and it's like twice the size, which is pretty awesome. I know a buddy of mine, uh, Nick, talked to him. Uh, he has a lawn care channel. It's called Saving Green Lawn Care. If you want to check that out if you are into lawn mowing and then the maintenance and whatnot he's got his own business that you can check out some guy just left some random bottle of something in the middle of the street right there uh, he was really refueling his windshield washer for fluid in the middle of traffic was it that serious we'll never know some of the craziest things happen in Florida. I guess people are just like bored. I swear. You see people are like, oh, you always see like bath salts scenarios where like someone got high off bath salts and did some crazy stuff. By the way, I'm using a different microphone now. Let me know what you guys think. Well, besides my uh, funny talking. Like what? Yeah, Florida is like, they just, they just kind of do their own thing. I mean, they are so separated. Especially when you go more south. taking the car I mean our truck to get washed see they're hustling there's just a lot of people everywhere just like asking for money asking for handouts like if I see that you're young you're clearly pick capable you're not gonna get anything from me like earlier today we seen an older guy sitting in a wheelchair and you could see that he was clearly disabled and we gave him money but a lot of these cases were like People are clearly young and are capable of making money in themselves. Like, sorry, but no sorry, I don't feel bad for you. I understand life just uh, can be shitty sometimes, but you just gotta pick yourself up. Like, the truck stop that we parked at. Probably 80% of the spots were reserved, so I had to pay like 20 bucks. I don't even remember the last time I paid for parking, but it was 20 bucks for 24 hours. And uh, there was a guy there just going around people's trucks and asking if they need a detail job. 
like clean their interior exterior you know while they they can go take a shower or just move to driver's seat while he cleans the rest but you know point being was like he was trying he wasn't just going around asking for money for free and there were a bunch of truckers like having him clean their truck it's like pretty awesome like i would give that guy a fat tip just for simply trying you know A lot of people, I mean, the easiest thing to do is just say, oh well, there's no hope I can't do anything and just give up on it. But you can always do something. You may not pay the greatest, but you can always do something. Like this is September and it's still hot. Can't even imagine how freaking hot it gets here in like July or like mid-August. I know another trucker from Florida that has a really, really big YouTube channel. Well, most of his viewers are from a different country. Uh, maybe from from Cuba or Mexico because his his channel is in Spanish but he's got a like stretched out super clean Triline and classic his channel is called Ever to trucker so e i v e r number two trucker he has subtitles in case you want to watch it but a lot of his videos like the way his channel like even blew up was he would make videos no talking just driving shifting and his truck is like immaculate like super clean and he's got like one video it's got like 18 million views but yeah his channel's got like a quarter million subscribers in case you want to check that out it's quite a bit of traffic the traffic through Atlanta is just something else like there was a bunch of traffic going through Atlanta like when we were coming down here on a freaking Sunday night and it was like late at night as well like there's always traffic oh look at that Mercedes thank God I got rid of mine Basically, for all of those of you wondering, here I'll tell you a little quick story. So I had that Mercedes. I, you know, I, I took an L and I've learned my lesson, but the Mercedes, I bought it for 500 bucks. I put in like $2,000 plus countless hours of work on this thing. And uh, some guy bought it for 900, we agreed and then this guy took the freaking car to Mercedes. Like who takes a $900, 18 year old Mercedes to a Mercedes dealership? Of course they're gonna give you an outrageous price on anything. And they told him like the transmission was acting funky and it could give out. And they're like, yeah, your transmission is about $8,000. So he calls me, he's like mad, this and that. I'm like, bro, it's a $900 car. If you buy a $900 car, you need a new tranny, you go to a junkyard. You don't go to Mercedes. But yeah, he was mad and unfortunately I uh, I had to uh, show him the car at my house, which is a mistake number one. So he knew where I lived and I just didn't want to deal with all that stuff. So uh, I, there, I'm just not even gonna answer that cause uh, I don't even have anything posted, but uh, I just had him bring me the car back. I was like, screw it, I'll take it back. I'm not gonna fight with someone over $900. And then next day I went to a mission center. I was like, if it can pass emissions, I'll just register it and drive it to truck stop. I don't care. I took it to emissions and they basically gave me all the codes and there was a list of them. What's wrong with it? And there was no way in hell I even knew how to figure out some of those. And indeed, there was a transmission code. 
and it was just like more work that was needing to be done and I just wasn't willing to deal with it so I called the guy I ended up calling John card first and they were giving me 300 bucks and I was willing to give it for that but the freaking dude is instead of on a title how he has a, a section that you take off this dude ripped the actual title in half so the title was useless so I need a new title so I called the guy that I got the car from to uh why is he holding the sign that way? There's nobody even coming this way. All right, but uh, so I couldn't get the title, and I'm like, listen, I, I need the title. If you can't get me the title, you have to car take the car back. So he ended up taking the car back for 300 bucks. Long story short, uh, long story short is. I paid him $200 to do all the work on the car. There's a 335D. Come on, Prius. Where's my headset? Let's see what they want. Like, what? It's gonna be a crazy, crappy load. How heavy is it? Uh, what kind of freight? No, I think we'll just be too far apart with that being on Friday. I'll just have to pass on it. I mean, honestly, he's gonna give me a crazy rate. I'd, I'd rather just pass, just cause he's not even wanting to go that right direction. Yeah, no, it's still too far apart. Yeah, no problem, thank you, have a good day. Um, I hate when I tell them that a rate is just too far apart and I'm not motivated to go that way until, unless the rate is, you know, pretty crazily paid because there's so many things that go into it for example this load is going to South Carolina on Friday I don't want to go to South Carolina I want to send him back home but I will go to South Carolina if they pay me good and then in, in that case you know in, in case something crazy happens and I can't find a load he can deadhead it to go to a good area but in a lot of cases this will happen and I'll even have in the description like where I want to go and they just don't read that and I'll tell them I'm just I'm just not motivated to go that direction and they're still being pushy. It's kind of dumb, but oh well. Like for example, like they'll give me like fifteen hundred dollar rate offer, and they'll be like, "What are you thinking?" And you know, I'll be like, "We're too far apart." And they'll still be pushing. I'll be like, "Okay, four thousand." And then they'll like go off, like, "Are you crazy?" Like, all right. There's no need to get mad over freaking rates. Numbers a number. If it works, it works. If not. You'll find someone else. I'll find another reload. It's all good. That's like one thing I learned with the whole brokerage thing is like, like if you've ever done like a super cheap load, like sometimes I'll have a driver that just has to go home and they'll take like any load, like super cheap paid load just to go home. And then that broker will literally like mark you down. Oh, this, this, this company will take this load super cheap. And they'll keep calling you like, hey, I got this load again. And you'll be like, no, I don't want to do that. And they'll be like, well, well you did it before for this rate. Well, that was, a di that was a different time. I'm not forced to go that way now, so I don't want to take it. Seems like they got a little bit of traffic on the 75. 
But the beauty of, of running south is the roads are perfect. They're flat. You get one mountain through Chattanooga there and that's it. Everything else is flat. I wouldn't even mind hauling 40. I don't care. Once you lower it down to Chattanooga, it's fine. And same goes for Texas. Even though I've never been past Dallas in Texas. Like that guy just cut everybody off. I've never been past Dallas in Texas. So I don't know what it's like, you know, go down Laredo or San Antonio or Houston. Wouldn't mind going down there. But from my experience, it's so hard to find anything out of Dallas. This thing even still recording. See, we're already on 20 minutes and you'll be like flaming me like, why? Why is your video like so long? <laughs> I was we at the truck stop yesterday and this guy was talking about how alligators can climb. And I was like, how the hell can an alligator climb? And he's like, yeah, they lift their body up and then they just start ripping on stuff. Now Florida is weird, like there's like they're an interesting fact of the day, like you can't even let your dog into the backyard. Like you come and there's a dog wrestling with a python <laughs> or an alligator. Like, all right. Or yeah, or someone on bat saw is knocking on your door. It's a beautiful place to live at though. Like no wonder everybody, everybody moves down here in their retirement days when they save up some money. I was telling my, uh, I was telling one of the drivers, I was like, man, like, you can just go camping in a truck, bring your family, I swear, like, just just book one of the RV spots on the beachfront and just go with your truck. Hell, why not? Especially if you have a nicer, newer truck, like, you can just camp out of your truck. And if you have an APU, and just park the truck. And, you know, especially if you got a Volvo, he's got a Volvo, you got a table on the bottom, and just bring your wife and kids and park it there. That'd be pretty cool, like, just camp out of that. Who needs a camper? And especially if you can manage to get like a ramp for a car and tow your car with it, you don't need anything better. That's awesome. So like the lane's ending and this guy's flying instead of just switching, running to soccer practice. Basically now we're taking 75 all the way up. Like, look at these roads. This this does not make me miss 80 or 76. This is so nice. We're going through Indiana with million potholes and lane closures everywhere. I guess this is just the beauty of trucking. I mean, obviously, my situation is unique. You wouldn't be able to do what I do if you work for a carrier. I'm sure you would have flexibility if you work for a really small carrier and owner operator. But if you work for like a big carrier, they wouldn't let you freaking stay for a day. I mean, they gotta make money, you know? But if you're an owner operator, trucking can be good. Once you have that flexibility, you go where you want, when you want, stay how much you want. It's not bad. Definitely wouldn't be able to do this in the nine to five. But yeah, I think that should do it for today's video. Thank you guys for tagging along, riding along. And uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and catch you guys in the next one. All right, everybody. So funny story. We loaded up in Memphis, not in Memphis. We loaded up in Tampa and we made it to this delivery like a day early. And uh, you know, I checked in early and they're like, we probably can't get to you so our hopes kind of went out the window and it's noon and i called them a few times and uh i get a call and the guy's like uh forty dollars i can get you out of here in 30 minutes so basically it's like a ticket to get unloaded early which i think is like super funny like all this other driver that's coming here too i'm like you know 
if you got money, I can, you know, make it work for you. you. Can be out of here early too, but yeah, I think it's just hilarious. I'm not gonna name the company for obvious reasons. If you can recognize the background, that's on you. Uh, but they are in Memphis. It's a big company, and uh, yeah, it's funny. I thought these things only happen in Bosnia, but I guess they happen in the states as well. But yeah, I'm still like six. So I'm talking, however you would call it. We're trying to find a load kind of like last minute now to get out of here to go towards St. Louis. So that's the plan. Uh, change of plans, go home. So yeah, $40. Hopefully he has changed because I only have a 50. Uh, if not, it's going to be a $50. I think $50 beats laying here all day. But yeah, I'm going to answer this call and then get back to you guys when we get rolling. All right. What's up everybody? Hopefully everybody's doing good. We're gonna make this quick, short, and easy. Starting our day off with some vitamin C and some Mayo Energy. Trying to stay away from some energy drinks, but basically this is kind of the same crap. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, I ended the video kind of uh, not explaining what's going on, so I figured I'd add this. This is like a few days later. Let me shut the truck off. This is a few days later. I can't uh, still talk properly, but uh, I'm getting better. And uh, I was at that receiver and they ended up unloading me. Long story short, I paid a guy 30 bucks because I ain't have change for 40 and he ain't have a 10, so I gave him 30. And uh, I ended up doing more loads that way. So I would say it's kind of crazy that they ask for money because they probably unload you either way but uh at the same time i would also say paying them is worth it to get unloaded a day early uh so it doesn't really matter let's see there we go look at that some myo energy and some vitamin c will keep you going for the day but yeah, right now we're going back home. Today is Friday. Uh, I'm delivering this load hopefully straight through. And then load something up Sunday night. If not, Monday morning. And then we'll be back on the road. But for now, that'll do it for this video. Again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy the content. And we'll catch you guys on to the next one.